Hey everyone, today we're going to set up DDNS on a Raspberry Pi using DuckDNS. Now this is going to be a really simple video, but after setting this up, we're going to be able to ensure that we're always connecting to our external IP address when we navigate to this domain name. So if you don't have a DuckDNS user account already, head over to DuckDNS.org, set up your user account, and then you're going to have to set up a new domain name. After you do that, you'll be able to proceed with these commands. So before we get started, I just want to mention that there are full written instructions for this tutorial in the description. So before we get into the commands, make sure that you can SSH into your Raspberry Pi. If you aren't sure how to do that, I'll leave a link in the description that shows you how. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a directory, and inside of that directory, we're going to create a file that is actually a script, and this is what will be running on an automated schedule. So after you create that file, you're going to edit it using your favorite text editor, and then you're going to have to enter in a command, which is in the written instructions. You just need to ensure that you add your domain and your token to that command. After you do that, you're going to go in and you're going to change the permissions to that script and then you're going to open cron and at this point we're going to be scheduling this script to run every five minutes so assuming that your external ip address changes since we're running this script every five minutes the next interval that it runs is when it will update DuckDNS. so after you update the cron file with the command that we have in the written instructions we're going to go and we're going to test this out Assuming that you retrieve an OK, everything is set up properly. If you receive a KO, that means that something is not set up properly. So it could be various different things, but run through the process again and ensure that everything was done in the right order with the right parameters. After you confirm that everything's set up right, you need to start the cron service, and now it will run every five minutes. So this was a really simple tutorial, but it's kind of the foundation for our future videos uh, where you'll need to ensure that you're able to connect to your external IP address at all times. So stay tuned and we'll be using this in future tutorials. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if this helped you out and subscribe. Thanks guys.